everybody, I'm back here at Trends for Monate Monday. Um, so, as you can see, my hair is curly once again. Uh, it's been pretty crappy weather the last couple of days, but today's actually pretty sunny out. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Um, so my curls are definitely a lot better using the Monate. Um, you know, this is definitely two days sleeping on it. Um, I'm gonna have to post a picture of it when it's freshly washed and done curly. But I didn't even put any um, mousse or anything in it. I just used the blowout cream and the leave-in conditioner and the split end mender. And that's it. Um, so it doesn't give it much hold, which is why, you know, by the second day it's kind of, um, you know, doesn't have a lot of curl formation left. But um, it is really, really soft, and I'm trying to kind of do less is more as far as um, you know styling products so um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did end up using the um, deep smoothing conditioner I've actually been using that at home um, uh, every week so basically I wash I usually wash my hair once here at the salon for the Monate Mondays and then I wash it once at home so when I'm home I use the deep smoothing conditioner along with the Renew shampoo and I know the last few weeks I've been using the Re Revive shampoo and the Revitalize conditioner um, here at the salon, but I wanted to show you guys my hair with the deep smoothing conditioner, so I brought that in today. Um, what else? Um, I am going to... Oh, I'm actually going to be getting in um, this new product that they're trying out. It's not um, av available yet to purchase, but the market partner that I've been getting all of my uh, products from, um, she got it as kind of like a trial, so they're trying this out. It's, uh, I'm super excited. If I like it, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be awesome. Um, it's the Violet Toning Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, so it's called Platinum, is the one that I ordered. Um, and there's three different shades depending on what color hair you have. There's the um, <clears throat> there's the platinum, which is good for like cool blondes, and then there's another one that is I can't remember the name now, but it's good for like more of a golden blonde, and then there's the one that's good for brunettes. So they all kind of give a tiny little bit of pigment to help um, fresh the tone of your hair. So for me, I haven't toned my hair. Usually I tone my hair with a violet toner every like three weeks because it gets really really brassy um, because naturally I have dark hair and I highlight it so all those golden undertones kind of come through so um, I have not toned it because I'm trying to avoid it to be able to get like a real good um, you know estimation of what my hair looks like with the product and I feel like if I tone it that's going to kind of alter the look a little bit so I've been avoiding that, but it's kind of killing me because my hair is really brassy. But um, I'm excited to get that product in, the shampoo and conditioner, and hopefully it'll tone down some of these yellow brassy pieces that I have going on. Um, so that will be nice to see, you know, how well that works, and hopefully it will be available at some point for everyone to purchase. Um, so right now I'm just going to wash my hair with um, the Renew shampoo um, and then the um, deep smoothing smoothing deep conditioner and um, this is a rinse out conditioner so I will just be you know rinsing that out you don't need to leave that in and and then I'll be putting my styling products and blowing out my hair all right thank you guys okay guys so I just washed my hair and I'm gonna um, I'm going to actually detangle it uh, for you guys to see how much shedding I get. Uh, I'm actually curious to see it. Um, I didn't get a lot the last time that I washed my hair, but so we'll see what I get um, today. Because, you know, Monate claims you do go through a little bit of a t detox period sometimes where you can have some shedding. And a couple weeks ago, I did have a decent amount of shedding. Um, but I feel like that has definitely settled down. And that's all supposed to be part of the process of how the uh, shampoo and conditioner revitalizes your follicles. Um, follicles that were once really small, um, you know, uh, the shampoo and conditioner kind of enlarges them so that a thicker, more healthier hair can 
be formed in the follicle. Um, so when it does that, it basically, um, you know, because the follicle is um, larger, it, sorry, I'm like losing my train of thought. Because the follicle is larger, the, um, you know, the smaller unhealthy hair sheds out and then, you know, makes room for the new thicker hair to come in. So I'm just trying to get all the tangles out. It's one thing I don't have to put a ton of effort into, you know, taking out all the knots. There really isn't any. It's just trying to get through my curls and that's about it. So the conditioner really does do a good job of detangling it. I haven't put anything extra in my hair. So this is all the shedding that I got which is absolutely not a lot. That's actually less than I probably used to get before I started using Monique. I mean, I really, especially have to have in my hair curly, in a curly state for two days and not blown out. You know, my hair doesn't shed as much while it's curly because it kind of gets trapped, all the loose hair. So then when I wash it, it all tends to come out afterwards. But so considering that, this is absolutely not a lot. Just a little tiny bit of hair. So, you know, there's a lot of talk about how it makes, you know, you go through this crazy shedding phase. And I think it just really depends on the person. If that is true, you know, people are being honest about their results. I think it just really depends on, you know, how um, bad your follicles are, how many follicles are shrunken, and that type of thing. So, um,. <clears throat> Obviously, you can see that right in front of the camera. You can see that it's, uh, it's um, you know, really not a lot of shedding at all. So I am going to put, towel dry it a little bit, and I'm going to put the um, leave-in conditioner. I'll put the split end mender first. And I'm going to put the leave-in conditioner after. So a split end mender, you don't need a lot. Just maybe like a dime size. Worked right through your ends, all the dry areas. I have a lot of highlights in the front, so that's why I really try to put it a little higher up in the front, but you know, mainly on your ends. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the leave-in conditioner. So, just about a dime size of that. And I'm gonna put, finally, the blowout cream, and that's the heat protectant. So, I'll do about a nickel size of that. That's all worked in. I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I will show you my results. Thanks, guys. I definitely like the deep conditioner. I think that it is a really good rinse out conditioner that does give a lot of moisturizing benefits. Um, my hair is absolutely more silky and less frizz um, than it ever used to be. So that's definitely an improvement. Um, again, I'm not really looking to you know, grow a ton of hair because I don't have any hair loss issues but I'm looking more for that um, you know healthy hair factor I need you know some moisture in my hair after highlighting it so much it's definitely dry so that's really what I'm looking for as far as you know for me for my concerns um, but you know I, I I was pretty impressed by how little shedding I had today 
um, that is like not a lot at all. I used to shed a lot more um, for using Monique. So two weeks ago I had you know a large clump of hair and that was probably my scalp going through the detox phase that Monique talks about. And then there was a little bit less the following week, and then this week there was almost nothing. And you saw that little bit that was on my comb. Um, so that was pretty impressive. Um, so, you know, I definitely feel like, you know, all of these claims that it's people can't tolerate the, you know, the, the detox phase with their hair shedding and all of that. Um, I mean, I guess it's just personal preference, and, you know, maybe some, some people have a lot more. Um, build up in their scalp and on their hair so it's going to go through a more intense detox phase than me i've always used professional products so and i've always tried to use more natural professional products so i might not have had to go through such an intense uh detox phase as someone else who maybe uses store-bought products or you know different things that have a lot of heavy um waxy type ingredients um so you know i mean one thing that they definitely claim, Monate, you know, claims that that detox phase is all due to the ingredients, the special ingredients in all of the products, um, reinvigorating the follicles, um, damaged, um, unhealthy follicles that have shrunken and are not as large as they're technically supposed to be. So once those follicles are reinvigorated and um, revitalized, they become larger. So that um, very small um, kind of fine hair will fall out and that's where you get that shedding. And then it um, basically makes room for the larger, thicker strand of hair um, to grow back. Um, so that's kind of their explanation on it and how it works to give you you know thicker healthier hair so obviously you've got to expect that there is going to be some sort of a you know transition phase um, to kind of get there so again it wasn't too bad for me I, I, I mean you guys saw you know the amount of hair that I lost a couple weeks ago was a little bit concerning but um, I you know kept using it and last week it was a little less today there was almost nothing which is very, you know, abnormal for me. I usually, I used to always lose hair, especially on days where I left it curly for a couple days. Um, when I re when I wash it, it would just like I would get a lot of a lot of hair, um, either in the drain or in my comb when I comb it out. So, um, I will be using the um, I will be using the uh, the new. Uh, shampoo and conditioner that I will be getting in hopefully this week it's the platinum so it's supposed to give my hair a little bit of a violet tone to combat some of the golden undertones that have been coming up in my hair um, I haven't been able to tone it so all of these golden tones are definitely popping up so I want to um, I, I've been wanting to tone my hair, but I, I've been avoiding it because I didn't want to alter, you know, what my hair looks like or how it feels. Because obviously when you tone it, it can make it feel silky and smooth for a little while. So I didn't really want to alter this whole, you know, review that I'm doing and alter my results. So I haven't toned my hair, but I'm like struggling because it's really yellowy and brassy. So I'm curious to see what this new um, shampoo and conditioner will do with that extra little violet tone because I've used obviously other violet shampoos and conditioners before um, and I do like some of them they do work well for keeping the brassiness at bay but um, I mean I'm psyched that Monate has come out with one so that I can use it since I'm not toning my hair so um, stay tuned for that that'll be next week I will um, use the violet toning shampoo and we will touch base again for more Monate Monday all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.